public has voiced their concern about Sandag's regional transportation plan. That includes a per mile tax. We've been talking about it throughout the week. There's a meeting happening on Friday with Sandag. Uh, will it come up? Well, we turn our attention to one of the board members of Sandag. Poway Mayor Steve Voss joins us this morning. We've had a lot of mayors from different uh, cities on the show this past week, Mayor. Uh, first of all, good morning. How good are morning. you? Good morning. I'm well. How about you? I'm doing good. Uh, wanted to ask you what your thoughts were, you know, heading into what is, I believe, a regular meeting, right? Yeah, it's a regular standard standard. meeting. There's nothing agendized uh, about the issue. I suspect it's going to come up, however. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the uh, this regional transportation <clears throat> plan? Bring us up to speed. Well, it, it, to me, it's a deja vu all over again. In 2017, Sandag uh, faced an investigation because the executive director was pulling the wool over the public's eyes and the board's eyes. And that cost that executive director his job. Here we are again with another executive director pulling the wool over the public's eyes and the board's eyes, and it's not going to end well. Yeah, this um, you, road usage fee that is part of the plan right now, um, very controversial. And it seems that there a lot of the leadership within Sandag, other mayors are starting to change their position. We just recently learned San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria is not in favor of that element of the plan. Uh, Catherine Blakespear as well. Uh, you yourself, what's your position on this? Oh, I've, I've been opposed to it from the beginning, as yeah. have most of the mayors from the outlying cities that realize what a, a horrible burden this would be mm -hmm. uh, on all of our constituents uh, in the outlying areas. You know, this road user charge, I, I call it highway robbery, it's kryptonite, and so I'm, I'm not surprised that other mayors in the bigger uh, cities, the more urbanized areas, are coming out against it. But the most troubling thing is the fact that uh, it's falling on deaf ears uh, with the executive director. He seems uh, stuck in the mud on this. Before we move on to other matters, what's next? What is next for this transportation regional plan? I believe that uh, in our meeting, uh, in two weeks, uh, this will be agendized and there will be a robust discussion. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I, I think we're coming to a point where something's got to give and mm. uh, the board's the boss. Okay, okay. Sandag meets every two weeks. It meets so we, twice a month, twice typically. A month. Not yeah. every two weeks, but typically twice a month. There's a meeting on Friday and then you're anticipating in two weeks from now it possibly is on the agenda. We'll stay on top of it. Uh, Mayor, it's so good to have you in studio and see your <laughs> face. So many wonderful things continue to happen in Poway. And I know you are really excited about an event that's coming back in full force this weekend. Poway Parade. And we are not going to let Mathis rain on our parade. Yeah, there the you Poway go. The Poway Parade is happening at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. And it will not be rained on. Yes, we're looking at some footage from, from past years. Although Poway Parade, I remember, did you guys did pull it off last year. It was a little bit smaller, but because of because of COVID, but you managed to pull it off. What are you expecting this year though? Oh, uh, it's it's gonna be great. I mean, we're gonna have the fire trucks there and the horses and marching bands and it new this year is a pet parade. Uh, we're gonna have uh, to make it more inclusive, it's all about we are family. We're going to have an American Sign Language uh, interpreter uh, for those who are challenged. Uh, it will just be Poway at its best. You know, we're kind of Mayberry in a lot of ways, and it's going to be a Mayberry parade. I mean, this is a parade. How many years have you? 57, I Golly, believe. 57 years this parade uh, has, has happened. Uh, the Poway Rotary uh, Club is Right, Rotary Club right? of Poway Scripps uh, mm -hmm. puts this together. A lot of work goes into it. You know, we closed down Poway Road from uh, Pomerado over to the library. It's about a mile stretch. Uh, there's going to be entertainment before the parade. There's going to be food trucks. It's going to be a great event. This is fantastic. Okay, so we should be getting a good seat. If it starts at 9, I would say 8 o'clock. What do you oh, think, yeah. right? You, you want to get there early. You get people to come and kind of... Uh, plot out their spot and their lawn chairs and all that and you know but there are lots of great places to watch from and special thanks to Palomar Health Foundation for being our uh, sponsor this year wouldn't be possible without great sponsors like them 
General Atomic and others. Very good. Rain or shine, it is happening, right, Mayor? It's happening. Um, it's not going to rain. Listen, we won't declare the rain, but just in case, <laughs> bring the little umbrella, maybe bring a sun hat, a cap. You Cowboy know. hat would work, too. Cowboy hat would work. Would be perfect. Mayor, great to see you. Good we'll to see continue you. To, uh, to mention that the Poway Parade is back. It is happening Saturday. It starts at 9 o'clock, and uh, we'll put up the link and all that on our social media and website. Sounds great. Good to, good see, to you. see you. All right, we'll see you Saturday.